Hey you guys, Erin and Max here and welcome back to Eat Move Rest. So as you've seen, if you've been around on our channel for a while, we make a lot of what I eat in a day videos, but we have yet to show you what we eat in a week. So today we're gonna to be sharing with you our top five meals that we eat every week without fail. We'll be sharing with you guys two breakfasts, a lunch that could also serve as a dinner, and then two of our favorite dinners. Quick reminder that all of these recipes are also in our Eat Move Rest recipe ebook that includes over 70 plus plant-based recipes for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks, so we will link that below in the description. Number one is smoothies, and not just any smoothie, yep, you guessed it, green smoothies. So typically we make a green smoothie every single morning without fail. It's a nice way to jumpstart your day. They're quick and easy to make and take on the go, perfect for pre and post workouts. Our typical morning green smoothie includes about two cups of fresh filtered water, two tablespoons of either flax or chia seeds, a tablespoon or so of whatever superfood or greens powder of our choice. Sometimes we'll incorporate a protein powder. Green leafies, we tend to mix them up. Sometimes it's dino kale, sometimes it's curly kale. We love collards and spinach as well. We usually add in a Granny Smith green apple for that tart kick, a tiny slice of ginger and turmeric, as well as pineapple and mango for extra tropical sweetness that kind of helps to mask those greens. Last but not least, we always add in in three to four frozen ripe freckled bananas, again for added calorie boost and added sweetness. So all of these fruits are gonna help to energize you, so this could even take the place of your morning cup of joe, and it helps it to taste amazing. We like to call this a multivitamin in a glass because you're getting your healthy carbs, fats, proteins, and all kinds of phytonutrients as well. Speaking of add-ins, one of my absolute favorites as of late is Gut Feeling. It's a brand new blend from my favorite company, Your Super. So you guys have heard a lot from me about this company in the past. I've spoken very highly of their Superwoman bundle. A couple of my favorites have been their Moon Balance for optimizing hormone health, as well as Forever Beautiful for hair, skin, and nails. They're some of my go-tos for smoothies, but for our morning green smoothie, gut feeling is perfect because it's got celery as well as Jerusalem artichoke, apple, lemon, and lemon balm, and ginger. So all organic, no other ingredients, no fillers, no sweeteners, no additives. So it's an amazing one to add into our morning green smoothies. Big thank you to Your Super for sponsoring this video and giving you guys an awesome discount. We will link it all below in the description. Recipe number two that we cannot not live without throughout the week is our homemade banana oat waffles. So it's a very quick and simple recipe starting with one ripe speckled banana, one cup of rolled oats, a half cup of plant milk, we usually use oat milk, one tablespoon of chia seeds or flax seeds, a crack of pink Himalayan salt, a teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of vanilla bean powder, and a tablespoon of maple syrup. Blend it up and put it into your waffle iron. So the reason we love this recipe is because it's very family and kid and toddler friendly. This is Max's favorite breakfast recipe. It's high in protein, healthy fats, and iron, which are all crucial, especially for growing and developing little minds and bodies. <laughs> we also enjoy it because it's similar to the oatmeal ingredients that we use. It's just a different take on all of the ingredients and a little bit more enjoyable. So if you're getting tired of your oatmeal, just make it into a waffle. So this next recipe is one of my favorites and it can be either a breakfast or a lunch and it is our loaded tofu scramble. So we start this recipe with a extra firm brick of tofu, mash it up with a fork, then add in some sea salt, some black pepper, and some turmeric for color. This will give your tofu that good scrambled egg look. After you have this mashed up, then you can start throwing in your veggies. We typically like to throw in some red or orange bell pepper for that pop of color. Follow it up maybe with some leftover quinoa or rice. Some chickpeas always go good. And then top it with some sort of green like spinach. So my favorite thing to do is to throw this in a wrap and roll it up with maybe some avocado and some spicy sauce. We absolutely love this recipe. Again, 
breakfast or lunch time, this is our weekly go-to. Weekly staple number four is a Buddha bowl. So there are a million different variations and takes on this, but we tend to go by our own special formula that we've come up with to make sure that your Buddha bowl is complete. So number one, a green. Number two, a grain. Number three, a bean number four, a healthy fat, and number five, a healthy carb. So that might look like for your greens, you're adding some steamed broccoli. We also love sauteing asparagus or steaming up some curly kale. For grains, our favorites are quinoa, millet, and amaranth. They're actually pseudo grains. They're technically seeds, meaning if you're grain free, they're great options because they're all three complete proteins and very easily digested. Beans, our favorites are chickpeas and black beans. For those healthy fats, we usually dice up some avocado. That's always our go-to. Sometimes we will do a cashew cheese sauce. We've got all of these delicious ideas in our ebook. And then finally, for those healthy carbs, what we love to do is use our air fryer and either bake regular Yukon gold potatoes or some variety of sweet potatoes. We also love to add some cubed baked tofu to this recipe. It's so versatile. You can flavor it however you want. We like to marinate ours in some tamari or coconut aminos to add a little bit of flavor to it and it goes great for an added source of healthy fats and protein and iron. So Buddha bowls are fantastic because a lot of times at the beginning of the week, what we'll do is we will prep our grains and our beans, soaking and then cooking them, and then having them in Tupperwares throughout the week. So more often than not, our dinners aren't that extravagant. We're usually just grabbing from the fridge throughout the week, whatever we've prepped at the beginning of the week and throwing together these quick and easy Buddha bowls. So our last and probably my favorite recipe that we have every single week is our creamy coconut curry. So we're gonna start out by sauteing one sweet yellow onion with three cloves of garlic. We're gonna throw some curry powder, maybe even a little curry paste in with those. When those are caramelized up, we're gonna also throw in some celery. So this is something that gives it another salty, super good flavor and crunch. We're then gonna chop three large carrots and put those into the saute and follow that up with some fresh ginger. From there, you're gonna add two cups of water with one cup of rinsed red lentils and boil these bad boys up. We're then gonna add two or three large Japanese sweet potatoes. Those are our favorites. Once your sweet potatoes and carrots are soft, you can sort of finish out the recipe by throwing in some frozen peas. We like to run a little warm water over these to soften them up just a little bit before throwing them in. Last but not least, we like to throw one or two large ripe tomatoes in here just at the end, just enough to get these bad boys warmed up and barely cooked. Then finally, we finish with a nice large dollop of coconut cream and of course, some salt and pepper. On the side, we like to cook some brown rice or some jasmine or basmati rice in the Instant Pot to plate this with. If you guys can't wait to try these recipes, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to join the Eat, Move, Rest fam and click that bell so you'll get notified whenever we make delicious and nutritious new videos here. Leave us some love in the comments below and follow us daily on Instagram at Aaron Stanzik and at DB Stanzik. Until next time, eat, move, rest, your best. Bye guys. There are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better. Eat, move, and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our mind on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.